Okay. Ancient Egypt and Antarctica secrets. We are all endangered. It is evil itself. Official preview. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I know I see it. Let's get straight into the video. But when they say we're all in danger, you know how they implement us all? They talking about the people that have no biological identification to the planet. That pillaged, raped, boiled, flayed the indigenous and aboriginal people. That turned the other cheek and still upholding his lie to this day and age. Go and look at the Admiral Richard E. Berg. Well, he was pretty much saying, he said, his race has reached a place of no return. And a darkness-like plague will trample every flower, etc. Something like a paw. It will cover them. They can't hide. They will find no answers in their guns, their weapons, their underground bunkers, anything. Every flower they've developed will be trampled over. He said, they're a race in specific people that share that genetic makeup. They ain't talking about us, but they be generalizing and putting us all in cahoots. The fuck we going to get this for? We been getting victim. Let's continue, though. I ain't in danger. I'm God. I'm God's man. Think I ain't about knowledge is, it can be used for good or it can be used for evil. You see, knowledge is just knowledge. I remember a frozen, windswept Arctic after. That's very fucking interesting. That's an amazing choice of words you have there, my fellow man. We're all in danger. It's evil itself. Y'all rape, pillage, boil, flay, Judas cradle, brazen bull, skint someone alive. Is it anything on earth that exists that's more painful than that? Or even do that to their loved ones in front of you while you restrained with your ankle and arm cut off. And then they do you next, castrate you. Y'all did the worst things ever. What can these reptilian aliens behind the ice walls in Antarctica do that can measure up to what y'all done? What you mean it's evil itself? Because of how they look? They look crazy? Nah. Y'all done did everything. It don't get much. It don't get. It's no way to display a more evil than a John Wayne Gay Gacy or a Jeffrey Dahmer. Y'all did everything. You ate your own in the dark ages. How is it evil itself? If it's evil itself, what is the fake Jews? What is y'all? If we looking at your history and the present, the kids, the 800,000 kids that go missing every year, they go missing every 30 to 40 seconds. You're conjuring up a scarcity and a energy and using it rather, I don't know if it's certain to do witchcraft, warlock, narcomancy, like type poltergeist activity. Nonetheless, you're using it. It's evil itself. Y'all evil itself. When I'm looking from here at y'all. So I know me and my kind ain't got no worries to be scared. We're going online. During my DNA is being unlocked. We're going to be able to do some shit. You seen it now though. I ain't got shit to be scared about. Because if you scared, it's just going to. You depleting yourself. And you still going to get trampled over on. And opposed to just fighting and being calm. And Wing Chun like be water. Shout out to Bruce Lee. It's interesting you say evil itself. Y'all evil itself as a collective. Afternoon. When I was bundled up into a jeep and hustled out on a special top secret mission. I figured I was finally going to be led into the reason for the existence of this high security arctic Base. Buzz Aldrin went down there to Antarctica and he made a tweet which got screenshotted and saved by thousands of people thankfully before it got deleted the next day. He said that the people down here that were meeting were facing the ultimate evil or something to that effect. And there's an entire advanced civilization there including some of the largest pyramids on earth right in Antarctica. We drove slowly through and past the buildings, all of them very gray, windy. They ain't talking about me and my people that's hard light as a feather. I ain't make Willie Lynch letter. I ain't ever boil you inflate. I ain't living off of the backs and genocide of other 
the indigenous and aboriginal species of the planet. I ain't doing that. I ain't taking no kids. I ain't help assist in taking no kids. I ain't no pet. I ain't none of that. I ain't indoctrinate or encourage nobody to be religious. I ain't tell the kids to stay in school. School late like the whole back of the train, a pet, a sea monster. I ain't no human. I ain't guilty of none of that. I may be guilty of some things involuntarily, of course, because how the fuck I'm going to do better if I don't know better? I can't fault myself for that, even though I still hold myself accountable for such, such things. So it's like, I ain't guilty of this shit. I ain't got shit to be afraid of. They come in for y'all ass. Word that Richard E. Burke. Admiral Burke, go and look that up. He said, your race has reached a place of no return. He ain't say every, he ain't, nah, because we been getting, I don't even like to say that, make you sound weak, like you're getting victim, but I'm talking about my, as a collective, the people before me and all that, they just been getting trampled on Trayvon Martin. I ain't going for that. I'm different. I'm a different kind of nigga, but nonetheless, they've been going for it. So it's like, I ain't put liquor stores on every corner in the hood projects and Planned Parenthood. It's people that share that genetic makeup. I ain't your coop, the subplanter that planted these NPC, GTA, pedestrian, beta cucks, sim ins, and seals here to do a bidding. I ain't guilty of none of that. So they finna hauls and jump straight to your ass. You finna see Godzilla's, Narwhal, Midgets, Hornswoggles, Gilgamesh's, Titans, Attack on Titans, Noob, Cybots, Scorpions. Reptilians, plea aliens, tall whites, the blacks, the Nordics. You're going to see all kind of things that's jumping straight to your ass. Interdimensional the beings as well as extraterrestrials. They ain't coming for us. We ain't got shit to be worried about. And if they won't smoke, my DNA will be online by then too. And I'll have all my neural pathways unlocked by then. So if it's smoke, it's smoke with, with whoever. Because we were subjected to some bullshit. My grandma died because of these people that share this biological makeup. She ain't know about the internet before she died. She just was programmed with the installation. She thought she knew what she knew. Probably warped with a legend and got recycled through the moon because you put the hoax on her. Died because of that poison that the FDA stamped and approved as food. The blood is on your hands. You ain't hiding in the underground bunky, Zucky. You either, Rick Ross. I know you said you made one. We ain't stop. We getting you too. You ain't. Bro, ain't nothing hiding, bro. Hell nah. Ain't nothing hiding. Motherfucker, come to the light. To the surface. We rounded a corner. And came upon a red one. We stopped. I got out of the Jeep and started to crunch across towards the front door. I was told no. To the window. Why do you think Admiral Byrd and the Rockefellers were so much more interested in Antarctica, the South Pole, rather than the North Pole? Watch out for this new pandemic that's called coming. We got X flares and CMEs that's gonna give motherfuckers melanoma. I'm telling you, I ain't guilty of making suntan lotion with people's neural melanin. I ain't guilty of none of this. Notice everybody that's in Antarctica, I ain't never seen a so called black man in Antarctica. Yet they fake making it seem like the country's going to war with each other, but they all got this treaty and agreements that, okay, we can't let them go to Antarctica. They gonna know what's up. That's one thing all the governments agree with, right? And the black Pope, you got to get permission from him to go to war, right? This shit is a joke. Prashu Prashemia, shout out to Vladimir. We must break him. There is a situation that began to happen during World War II where they discovered that the Nazis had... Hiroshima, Nagasaki, pregnant women, innocent kids, bro. And they white sky magical god man didn't help them. They deteriorating from the inside out and do nothing to deserve this. And feeling pain, your grown ass can't feel right now as an adult. Involuntarily, of course, due to the species that share that biological makeup. They told Admiral Richard E. Berg, your race has come reached a place of no return. I made two videos about this shit. You can go on my channel. It ain't talking about me, because if aliens won't smoke, my DNA will be completely online. We, I'll whoop your ass, too, for you not helping my people when we went through bullshit. So, yeah, I wonder that, too. What's going to be your excuse for that? You see people getting skint, females' titties getting cut off in slavery, and then the male being 
castrated and aircraft just shooting past and ain't nothing help what what's gonna be your excuse for that i ain't consulting with them either shout out to them but at the same time fuck them i ain't consulting with them i ain't no dr umar ass nigga i don't believe oh the black woman is god i ain't consulting to that bitch fuck that bitch i'm my own god i affirm things to thyself and i'm righteous because it's the choice i chose myself it ain't because of no bribery or no threat being the gifts of being God's right hand man or the threat of you going to hell for not following the word in this book. Nah, it's real. It's the choice I chose myself and I stand on that nigga. Don't nobody else in the world stand on that shit. Nigga, I see it and I mean that. That's real. I'm net because it's what I chose myself, not because of no God you believe in, motherfucker. How real is that? What if they prove to you this motherfucker don't exist and so we don't even know about it if it do? Do you want to know what a lot of people going to do? They're going to do whatever for thyself and their family to make sure they're good. They don't care who they step on or kill. That's what a lot of these people will revert to if they ain't had that word of Christ in this book. How real are you? Niggas ain't real for real. Just know that when shit really get gritty, fuck them extraterrestrials too. Because it ain't nothing you can tell me to have let these people go through that and you ain't pop out or nothing. I, I understand to a degree they got themselves in a situation, but still like... I ain't consulting with shit, bro. I'm most interested in me and my own destiny and what I got going on. And may you do the same for you. Even if it's an extraterrestrial that may be superior because they got neural pathways unlocked and they've been here way longer than you still. I ain't work. Fuck him, nigga. I'm him. Them niggas ain't shit to me and when it come to me, how I feel about it. So when they come out, I ain't going to be in awe like everybody else just looking with their mouth open. I don't give a fuck either. I'm trying to unlock my door. I want to see what I can do. I don't care what they didn't do or what they going to do. Went down to Antarctica and built the base down there, New Schwabenland. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas in Rockefeller Plaza. A lot of the world's leaders were there at the same time. They went to go meet with who? And Buzz Aldrin was invited. A space traveling, an astronaut goes down there to meet with who? He said the ultimate evil. The ultimate evil. No, it's just somebody that's going to jump straight off to their ass. They're going to do everything that them people did to the indigenous and aboriginal people. Hiroshima Nagasaki, for you owning all the media outlets and pushing false propaganda. You muting niggas, you shadow banning niggas, you killing niggas, you telling niggas they committed... Telling the masses they committed suicide when they were not even possible. People that made inventions to make the world a better place, you killed them. You got people homeless and starving. You got people paying for water. Apples? And dude voice from the Disney Channel. Whatever his name is. You got niggas paying for apples you sprayed with pesticides and glossy shit. You got us paying for poison. You the reason our grandmas that have legs amputated and open heart surgery. It's people that share your biology. On top of the, I guess the black people or that look black that created so-called white people. Them black aliens they gonna get it as well but nonetheless who own all the media outlets who false claiming to be god's chosen people they the furthest thing from god's chosen people god's chosen people can beat anybody or anything righteousness creativity they influence the world what's the one group on the planet that influence the world i ain't saying that because i'm one of them i hear it from everybody across the world it ain't the fake Jews. It ain't y'all. They ain't telling y'all y'all influence the world. Y'all don't influence shit. Y'all lying, but y'all claiming to be this. Every last one of y'all gonna get it, and it's gonna be a hundred times worse than what Hitler could have did. YouTube, this is for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. This satire. Pyramids down there are a lot. They're a lot bigger than the oh, ones in the super in mega legit. One of the pyramids is two kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers by two kilometers. A oh, base. Wow. Looking into the Nikola Tesla stuff, and it sounds like Nikola Tesla got his information somehow from ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. A lot yes. of people say that the pyramids were some type of a some type of a power plant. You look at Bosnia in Europe. There's a pyramid there called the Pyramid of the Sun. Just like the one, there's, there's one in Mexico called the Pyramid of the Sun. There's one in Bosnia called the Pyramid of the Sun. It's massive. There's tunnels underneath that are connecting the pyramids. But inside of this one tunnel, they found this gigantic crystal. It's called the K2 Megalith. And on it is written in runes. It says, we must stand in defense 
until we can open the gate. Concern, huh? It don't concern me. Just know all the shit, bro. My people ain't ever stepped on them steps of they pyramids and state shit. And a lot of them will never get to do it. They just drunk out, drinking spirits, liquor on every corner store. They don't believe they can go nowhere. You got them consciously as well as subconsciously. They only know what they see. And they don't believe they can open that lid and get out of this bucket. Due to you and people that share your biology. Just know, this is not generalizing. This don't go for everybody with two arms and two legs walking. This go to people that's in all the powerful places, that own all the outlets, that control the information you receiving. Yeah, this don't go for us. I ain't worried or scared about shit. Because I'm going to go online and be super advanced myself where I can say, fuck them aliens and fuck them humans. I'm finna go to Nibiru just to see what's over there. I want to be that type. I can disappear to China. I get bored. I can disappear to South Korea. I get bored. I can disappear and wake up in the Louis Vuitton store. I want that. I want to be able to do that. The move on my own court. But one thing about me, the promise I made to myself that will never be broken is I'm righteous. And it's because it's the choice I chose myself. I wouldn't give a fuck if God exists or he don't. I'm going to be that because I chose it. So CERN, in my opinion, is researching and learning about technologies that already existed. Again, we're just rediscovering everything. When you go to CERN, right outside the front door is this gigantic uh, picture of uh, this Indian god that is standing inside of a portal. That's Shiva? I mean, what do you think they're doing with these mini black holes that you think that they're creating? Yeah. People were trying to stop them from doing it, but they just kept working anyway. <laughs> they didn't care. They are just, in my opinion, learning about these creation of portals, learning how to create st stable wormholes, just like, all experimenting, just trying to figure out how do we, what type of energy can we inject into a, a one of these holes that will stabilize it, maybe even expand it? Where do they lead? Where do they go? Like when we go through them, where will we end up? This type of research without complete oversight, to me, is scary stuff, man. I mean, yes. you don't even know what can come through. Like, I do believe in life in other worlds and also life in even other dimensions. We know that based on theoretical physicists like Michio Kaku and many other well-respected. They can open a wormhole to a diff a specific frequency and dimension where that Godzilla they showed you on a movie will actually come through that bitch. And then a thousand more Godzilla's coming right back behind them. How you gonna fight that? It only makes sense. We coming online. I'm unlocking my door in my DNA. You shitting me. My skin crystallizing. and it's going up to my neck. It's everywhere else. It's been happening since two winter solstice. I'm gonna be a superhero. I believed in that every since believing was believing. Every since I was a G, I always believed it. I don't know why. I just always knew personally, man, I got powers. You can't tell me different. I always knew it as a kid. So it's like, I I can't wait to go online. Because how the fuck we going to battle these Godzillas and Gilgamesh's without power? That wouldn't even be fair. It got to be some Naltos running around this bitch. Ain't no way. Because how you going to fight the Titans? With guns and bullets? Nah, that ain't, ain't even fair. God would be smarter than that. Like, the only how we going to combat that is going to have to be on some X-Men shit. But you, they doing dangerous things. You might see the actual attack on Titan character come from the portal. Life is that real and crazy. You can only grasp concepts that already exist. That same looking character that you think you pulled out your ass, it already exists a thousand times over. And there's different kind of frequencies and dimensions with all different kind of monolithic sized monsters and shit like. <sighs> Life crazy though. It's that interesting and unique, yet you plugged at a job. Job is defined as public business for private dishonest gang. It's some sniggling, giggling, gay, fake, Jew, little hat wearing motherfucker that's privately eating private parts, gaining dishonestly off your hard work and labor. You stuck at a job. You can't go and unfurl the scrolls, find rune stones, the last two emerald tablets, Solomon's ring, covenant of the ark. You can't do nothing because you doing robot shit, keep moving packages at Amazon. 
They're going to get karma for putting you in that position too. But you need to snap out of it and leave that shit. It have no purpose. Look what you, you your, your purpose. You putting your purpose into nothing. You just doing this all day. Go to lunch. Oh, man. Somebody got to do it. Not me. I ain't doing it. Y'all niggas crazy. The physicists that we're living in a universe based on 11 dimensions. Dimension is the realm that exists at a different frequency. So a lot of y'all deem this conspiracy. Look at all this technology, bro. You think they putting all this money and doing all this intricate shit and going over to check and keep maintenance on it for no reason? You think they doing that? No, they notice some real powerful shit and this do some shit you wouldn't believe. You see how advanced and crazy this fucking look? All this, you think they just doing is just a, oh, and they don't do nothing major, right? You think they doing it, but they don't do nothing major. It look major. It do something major. Just know that. That's an understatement. Oh, right now we're in the third dimension. We only can control the first and the second. The, the benefit of knowing this, imagine wide. teaching your kids that everything that exists is conscious. A rock, a blade of grass, your clothing, even your book bag is aware. It's conscious. Imagine teaching them how to receive. I learned that every single solitary blade of grass, let's say this field, it's probably over a trillion blades of grass. They all have their own individual frequency and it's conscious and it's alive. I don't take anything for granted. Shit, I may do things that you would deem weird. When I'm in a shower, I listen to podcasts and shit I fuck with. I give thanks to the water for it healing me, hydrating me, quenching my thirst and Everything else that it does that I'm currently not aware of. I give thanks to I man, I do all my shit. I understand it. Everything is alive. Shit real, but y'all just be going hunting, it's killing deers and shit for sport. When it got a conscious and it wanna go back home to his kids and his kids crying ain't seen his father since and you got him hung up on your wall with that antler sticking out. Crazy, bro. This shit is wrong. Y'all don't see no wrong in what y'all doing and did and still doing. It's too late. That white boy came out and said we killed the ocean. The water is alive. Water holds memory. <sighs> crazy, bro. Respect conscious things. The level of respect they will have for their personal items. Understanding and knowing that everything that they interact with, everything they touch or see, has a level of conscious imbued into it. Treat everything that exists no matter whether we think man made it or it's natural, with respect and dignity. Sure. There's this obsession with space. Yeah. And Elon says, I believe he wants to occupy Mars by, is it 2025? Yeah. And <clears throat> what, why is the fascination in space? Has all of Earth been discovered? I mean, uh, what, <laughs> what's. No. Of course, all of Earth haven't been discovered. The ocean haven't all been discovered. No. The whole hollow Earth or whatever's in the haven't all been discovered. Well, you can go and find a real Thanos glove, bro, and you think they just came up with that. What if that glove, well, it do show some of the pictures of a glove that looks similar to that, but it was like three stones or something that actually exists because they just recreating things and grasping things that already exist. You can go and find something that can change the world. The government going to be on your ass about it. Don't let them know about it. And just put the formula out there, guys. You're going to get your righteous one from the universe. Stop trying to be greedy and patting it so you could be a multi-billionaire. They're not going to do that because you're going to take multi-billions and trillions from them thinking you finna patent this to become a billionaire and now we driving off water. That's why y'all keep dying. Just put the formula out there on how to do it. Put the whole formula up there. Then everybody can just go and do it and you can't stop it. It's over with. Thing is, y'all keep trying to go and get something patent and getting your ass patent with the patent. <laughs> Crazy. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. Yeah, I'm, I'm modern day Pharaoh. I was stoked in my past life, believe it or not. I don't just resonate and connect with these. I felt I wrote it. It's unutterable for it exists as an entity in lanes which transcends our material words or symbols. I'm Merlin. It's Celtic for thought. I think they think they thought they knew.
But yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out.